Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send some Satoshis across a Lightning Network to any node that you have the public key for. So you don't need an invoice or and you don't need a channel open with that particular node in order to send the sats over to them. Now you do need a channel open and you need the outbound liquidity and the node you're sending to does need some inbound liquidity. So assuming those pieces are in place, you could go ahead and send some sats to somebody just by, by having their public key. Now, oftentimes this is used to tip people to say thank you for providing service to me or whatever it might be. And in this particular case, I'm gonna be sending a tip over to BTC Sessions, his video right here, which I'll link to in the description below, really helped me get started with the Lightning Network. So I wanna you know, say thank you for, for producing this video and all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna send him a tip. And so I found his node information right here on 1ml.com. And what we need is the public key, right? So we just grab this public key, copy it, and then we'll come over to Thunderhub. So I'll be using Thunderhub to send the sats to BTC sessions. There's other apps and tools and ways you can go ahead and, and do this, but Thunderhub is relatively user-friendly, so that's what I'll be using. And so here we are on the main page, and we wanna to go to send right here. And is key send? Yes. And we plug in the public key right there and we hit decode and hopefully you sh see that the name of the node so btc session so looks like we're in the right place right here and i'll go ahead and send him 10,000 satoshis which is about five bucks right now and i'm just going to hit send and it's going to go and it's going to find the route through the lightning network and it's going to give him you know the five the 10,000 set so payment sent right there and just like that, he is 10,000 Satoshis richer. I can come over here to my transactions as well if I wanna check it out. And I can see you know, how it routed and all that type of stuff. So my payment went out of my wallet of Satoshi channel and then it hopped through QE2 channel and then it wound up in BTC Sessions wallet and hopefully you can buy some coffee or something like that. You know, whatever makes him happy. Alrighty, so I decided I wanted to show you how to do a key send using the command line and also how you can include a custom message as well. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do that real quick. So this is the, the script or the code for you to go ahead and do this with the command line. Now this is set up for Umbrel. So with Umbrel, you need to include this little bit of information, but if you're using a different node software, uh, you might only have to use this bit of information. Like I'm not sure how the different node platforms work, but with Umbrella, you include the whole thing and I'll include a link down below. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, hopefully self-explanatory. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna send a payment, the amount, so how many sats or satoshis you wanna go ahead and send to somebody. So, you know, maybe I'll do 10, 10,000. That sounds reasonable. That's probably like uh, 40, $4.20 at this point in time. And then we can go ahead and do a custom message right here. So for this particular example, I'm gonna say love the podcast. So I'm gonna be sending a, a tip to, to Preston Pish here in a second. And then I'm not sure exactly what all this means. It's somehow it's encoded or enc encrypted. Uh, basically we're encoding this data in some sort of way. And this, this does it. Uh, yeah, so that's the best I can explain it. So don't don't mess with this stuff, but you can change this text right here to include the message. Then the key send destination. So this is who we want to send it to. So I'm going to come back to 1ML right here, and we just have to grab the public key. So I'll grab that bit real quick, and then we'll come back over here and plug it in there real quick. And then I'll go ahead and uh, get into my nodes. So I'm going to go to command and open up my command prompt real quick. And then I'll do SSH, SSH, flag T, umbrella at umbrella.local, and plug in my password real quick. And now I'm in my umbrella node, and then I'm just gonna basically copy and paste this code right here. And we'll run it real quick. And it asked me for my password again, so let me plug that in. And just like that, we can see that it was a success right here. We can see the time it took and resolve time and how much they received, the fee that I was charged and uh, the path that it went out on. Now I can also go into like Thunderhub and take a look at it. So I'm gonna do that. And so here we can see the transaction in Thunderhub, like we saw in the command prompt that it went out the CoinGate channel that I have and it went straight over to Preston Pish over here. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you do it with the command line. And again, I'll have the script in the description below this video and yeah.
Hopefully you found it helpful.